Today we're going to playtest and review the Hardy Infinity Channer. Stay tuned. Well, hello everybody, I'm Matt Willis Bagpiper, and on this channel I make videos to make you a stronger and more confident piper. If you like this kind of content, please think about subscribing to the channel, maybe giving the video a like, and hitting that notification bell, sharing with any other pipers in your life, and comment below with any thoughts you might have. I also give Skype lessons if you want more personalized instruction, but more on that later. Right here, everybody, I have the Infinity Chanter by R.G. Hardy & Co. This chanter was designed with smaller holes and a slightly closer finger spacing. And uh, this is my first chance to have a go at this, so I'm very excited to see how this plays. Callum Beaumont has been playing and succeeding with this chanter, and it feels great just in my hands right now. I can't wait to hear how it plays. We're going to be using both a Chesney reed and an RT Shepherd reed, so we'll have a ridge cut reed and a molded style reed. In this, we'll be seeing how it pitches. We'll be bringing a tuner out, and we're going to compare it as well, pitch-wise, with my Campbell Tunable Channer and my RT Shepherd Blackwood Channer. I want to give a shout out to Lone Star Piper. That's where this lovely chanter came from. Jeremy Downs there at that organization uh, sent this to me to review and I appreciate it. So thank you, Jeremy. Today's whiskey pairing is the old Pulteney 12. This is a classic, one of my very favorites. And uh, in the nose, I get some tropical fruits and yet some brine. It's called the Maritime Malt and I think it has earned that moniker. Nice arrival. The brine continues on to the palate. I don't want to say it's overly salty, but there definitely is that uh, feeling and flavor of uh, kind of being near the ocean. I still get some of that banana funk, if you will, um, but in a good way. Just absolutely lovely. Cheers. I'm using the Bra Tuner today for iOS. This is available for Android. I really like it for the Chanter in particular because it shows you where you're pitching and it kind of saves it on the screen so you can go back and know where you need to either add tape or maybe remove tape or any of that stuff. So nice tuner. The Chanter itself came in this tube right here with uh, the Infinity branding on it and it came with a reed protector. We're gonna start with my Chesney reed and just see about where this thing is pitching. The burl on this thing is very nice. We're going to be moving to an RT Shepherd reed now. So this is a molded reed as opposed to a ridge cut reed. So it's tapered as opposed to having shoulders. And I just want to see how this responds in that infinity channer. With the Shepherd Reed, it's coming in at 478, and it needs just a bit less tape than the Chesney Reed. But again, every reed's a bit different, so, you know, your results may vary. I just kind of wanted to see how it responded. 
the Shepherd read here is a bit stiffer than the Chesney read, so it has just a bit of extra volume. Well, I'll be curious to see if that comes through on the, the microphone here, but uh, it's just lovely. It's so comfortable under the, the hands to play, and just knowing that your burl is just right there, uh, that's, that's hard to beat. For giggles, we're just going to see how this read is pitching in the other chanters as well. Coming in about 485 in the Campbell Tunable Channer, again with the Shepherd Reed. And now let's try the Shepherd Reed in the Shepherd Channer. About 479, 480. There you go, everybody. A bit of a play test on the RG Hardy Infinity Chanter here. Uh, again, nice, comfortable finger spacing, nice, small holes. Um, it was easily readed with either a ridge cut read or a molded read. Uh, it's pitching in and around where uh, my solo chanter pitches. It's a little lower pitched than my band chanter, which is fine. I 485 is pretty high. I actually rather like that 478 to 480 this was coming in at. This is a poly model, by the way. It's not a Blackwood model. I don't know if that would change the pitch any. I wouldn't imagine so. Uh, obviously, you're going to have the slight warmth and richness coming from the black wood and a little bit more projection and volume from a poly. That's typically how they work out. And maybe one of these days, I'll be able to like do one infinity channer next to another infinity channer, one poly, one black wood. At the end of the video, there'll be photos of the chanter and the cap it comes with and the tube, all the packaging, so you can kind of take a look at what you're getting if you go and purchase one of these infinity channers. Well, thank you so much for watching, everybody. If you got something out of this video, go ahead, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and share with any other pipers in your life. And also, please comment below with any thoughts you might have on this channel or reads or tuners or whatever. If you want to go the extra mile, you can go ahead and head over to my Patreon, where as little as a dollar a month goes a really long way to helping support the channel and fun videos like this. If you want more personalized instruction, go ahead and head over to www.mattpiper.com. We can have lessons over FaceTime or Skype or Facebook Messenger. All of the video conferencing things are pretty much available. So it doesn't matter where you are in the world. Let's get in touch and let's get you going. All right, everybody. I'm Matt Willis Bagpiper. Until next time. Cheers.